California's number one industry is, can you guess? What do you think? Don't look. Number one industry in California, don't look at the property. Garlic. Close, agriculture. Probably <laughs> nuts, but arguably its number one crop isn't legal. One study by Advocates says Mary Jane, worth $14 billion to the Golden State. But in this week's cash crop report, Jane Wells says there is a legal side to this business. Oh, yeah, Jane? Yeah, worth a couple billion, they estimate. Legal in the state size market, this medical marijuana facility behind me called the Pharmacy in Venice. Many of these uh, clinics are being rated as criminal enterprises, but many others are trying to prove they are legitimate businesses, even if the feds disagree, which makes turning a profit challenging. I mean, this is the business model of the future. A model that Joanna LaForce claims is open, honest, ethical, and legal. She runs a handful of herbal remedy shops in Los Angeles that also sell medical marijuana. Even as a dozen states have legalized cannabis for certain patients, no place has run with the idea like California. California went from under 100 dispensaries to over 500 dispensaries in just a few years. Last year, medical marijuana clinics paid California $100 million in sales taxes, plus taxes on income and property. But the feds got nothing. All of this remains illegal at the federal level, and that adds extra cost to running LaForce's business. She keeps lawyer William Kroger on retainer, and she's not the only one. I'd say we represent about 20 to 30 in the Los Angeles area. Kroger charges over $400 an hour usually, and he gives would-be clinic owners tips like don't steal electricity to grow, guns are a bad idea, the DEA is not as big as you think it is, and the burden of proof is now on the government to prove your assets were bought with ill-gotten gains. But there are other costs, like growing. Clinics often grow their own from cuttings they receive from state-sanctioned collectives. And the growing equipment can run into the thousands of dollars. And these are fans that are used for filtering the material and the smell. To compete, some clinics provide patients with up to 100 choices of cannabis in several different forms. We also have cookies and our hemp balls, which are very tasty. LaForce says she is finally close to breaking even on the business. And as for the retail price, it remains similar to what pot costs on the street. Even if clinics could charge less, many don't, afraid it will encourage buyers to turn around and resell at a profit. Being um, illegal in the minds of the federal government, we do practice civil disobedience every time we open our doors. So that uh, provides a lot more stress, too, <laughs> you have to deal with. Now, next hour on the call, a great story. A California university is certifying would-be growers and clinic owners. Mark, they see a real business opportunity there. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Jane Wells.